Hey guys, it's Saturday here in the Philippines, so it is time for us to do our free-for-all weekend video. And as promised, we're taking a look at some transporters today. Uh, probably one of the hottest things in diecast right now and has been for the past couple of years are these team transporters from Hot Wheels. M2's on board with this nowadays. Uh, then you have sometimes green light doing them too. But theirs is a little more subtle. They don't have like um, ones coming out like every single month like M2 does and like Hot Wheels does. Uh, I think the Hot Wheels uh, Team Transport series was the pioneer in this. Um, M2 had always had like your rigs with the trailers and like one or two cars in the back. Like your regular car carrier transporters. That type of thing. But never like this style, like their C60. That's something that they just kind of uh, ventured out and started doing over the past couple of years. And they've really gotten into it over, I'd say, the past year or so. Um, Hot Wheels also uh, took the initiative to do this, I think, back in, what was it, 2018. And then Green Light, they've been doing it for probably three years also, but as I said, pretty subtle. It's in the, usually their HD truck series. Um, like the flatbed you see here, uh, it came with a 66 Shelby, like the uh, GT350H, the Hertz Renneracer. Uh, but I think it looks more suited with Ricky Bobby Chevelle. That's why I have it set up like that for the video. Um, so they will do this occasionally with these uh, Ford F100, well, I should say F350s or F300s, and then they will do it with the like Chevy C30s and such. Uh, so they do have quite a few of them that look cool. They do have a Durastar uh, flatbed rollback, but I do not have any of those. And with this video, I'm trying to stick more with the older stuff, like 60s and 70s type of thing, maybe the 80s, like the Aero Lift from Hot Wheels is kind of maybe like an 80s or 90s type of truck or even something you would see nowadays. But it's that kind of look that JDM has always had like for their haulers and like Japan and well in Asia and such. So um, that one I found acceptable. Later on we'll be doing like a series on more of the uh, really inclined like ramp backs uh, that came out probably about a year ago from M2 and also um, kind of like Hot Wheels carry-on that comes with the Skyline van, uh, the Advan one, and then they just released one with the Euro uh, team transport box set. Later on we'll be doing those like really steep inclined ramp backs uh, too, taking a look at M2s and Hot Wheels but right now I don't have any at my disposal, so we're sticking with the more subtle incline ramp backs and your slide back type of flatbeds. So anyways guys, I got one of each company sitting here in front of us. I've got the Hot, or Hot Wheels Aerolift with the Porsche, the RWB Porsche here. Then we have our M2 machines, Miho exclusive with the Chevy Square Body and the Chevy C60 rollback. Then we have the green light 1968 F300 with Ricky Bobby Chevelle from green light. Um, and as I said, that's not a factory setup. This would have came with the 66 Shelby. Uh, so anyways, we're gonna look at the pros and cons of these haulers and take a look at a few other haulers of each company. So really, the green light one I love actually is probably one of my favorites out of all of them. I know I complain about a lot of green light stuff, but their haulers are killer. This looks very 60s, looks nostalgia correct. Um, that type of truck, not way too big and not too small either. This is kind of how it would have looked. And what's cool, they have detailed engines with opening hood and such. So let's get this Chevelle off and take a better look at the hauler itself. So as I said, you got your opening hood, detailed engine, detailed front end, air correct uh, wheels. Well, actually, I should say correct wheels for this vehicle look very suiting for like a dually look. Uh, then the flip down ramps, which are cool. And 
actual functional, and then the bed and such is very nice. You can fit a bigger car on here. They do have the side mirrors to add a little bit more detail. And the chassis is plastic though, on the other hand, whereas like the bed and things are metal. Um, but still a very nice piece. So as I said, like your ramps fold down, so it's like gives it that appeal where you can give it like the car going onto the truck halfway and such. Kind of like that. You can display it really nicely. Then the ramps fold up so it will help you hold your car in place. So very nicely done. Love this green light hauler. And still yet, I mean, it has its little tweaked axle issues as usual with green light and other companies with push-on style wheels. But still very nicely executed, nicely detailed. Scaling looks to be pretty good. Um, now, let's take a look at the Hot Wheels Aerolift. As I said, this is kind of more what you would see in like maybe Europe or Japan, Asian countries. Not what you would typically see back in the 60s or 70s. For that matter, you wouldn't even see these type of haulers today. Maybe, maybe somewhat uh, more today than you would have in the past. But usually we have like the Durastars, the Max, things like that. Now and then, uh, sometimes you like the older ones are exactly like we see here with the Fords and Chevys. So, but this is still really cool. Love how they color coordinate the car, the truck together, even coordinate the wheels. The wheels match on the hauler and on the RWB, and the slide back slides back and tilts. That's killer. Really love that from Hot Wheels that they did that with this one. This is one of my favorite haulers because of that reason from Hot Wheels, because of the functional bed. And as I said, like you can display this one too, car being loaded, halfway on, or you can even put it as like half loaded, so forth, and then fully loaded. So really nicely done. And the detail itself on the vehicle isn't so bad. Front end's nice, and like you have your headlights, turn signal tampos, grill tampo, wipers etched into the windshield, and as I said, the corresponding wheels for the car looks really cool. Um, so yeah, it's a nicely done type of hauler. The only thing I do not like about the Aerolift and the Retro Rig, the Horizon Hauler, which are the other two we're looking at today, they're not based on real vehicles. They're based on semi-real vehicles, but still not an actual vehicle. So they're still considered, like, fantasy, in my opinion. Uh, so, anyways, this, though, is kind of accurate to what I see here in, like, uh, the Philippines for car haulers. And if you look at the Tamika, like, car transporters, the TLVN, I'm not even sure what they are, Zuzus and things like this, Nissans, whatever they may be, they kind of correspond with the looks of this truck. So it's close, but it's still not 100% accurately based on a real vehicle, I don't think. Now comes the M2s. Now the M2, cool set. And once again, it also is kind of nicely done, like the Hot Wheels, with corresponding paint on the truck to match the C60. Uh, the square body has that corresponding paint, black wheels on the C60, black wheels on the square body, and such. Now, um, the square body is nicely done. This has a plastic chassis, though, but still nicely done. Uh, and it does have, I think, opening hood, yes, detailed engine. Uh, not as detailed as some of the others, but still not bad. Um, and then all of your regular details that M2 offers on their square bodies. So pretty cool truck. Um, now the hauler itself, nice and heavy. I mean, this one's really heavy compared to the other ones. The bed, the sliding bed is actually metal. The cab is metal. The frame is plastic and the floorboards are plastic. Now... The problem with this one is, like, if you have it up like this, as you can see, the wheels roll fine. But they did not take 
into account the weight of the truck when it's setting down on the ground. These rub when it's setting. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, see how it kind of locks up in a roll for a little bit and then it grabs and then it just slides. So that's the downside. Does not roll even if the axles are pristine, perfectly straight. Still going to rub the bed, does not clear. Uh, the rollback does not function either. That's another downside. Now, another thing that I think is a downside too, but they did use the big trucks for haulers, for like drag ship cars and things like that. But really the ones that you commonly seen were like the F300s and then maybe the C30s and not so much the C60s. Uh, and then like the Dodge, like maybe the D700 is a little big, but um, you still seen them occasionally. I think that's even what uh, Don the Snake Perdome and Tom Mongoose McEwen used were D700s. I think that's what my RLC sets are based on. And anyways, the C60 is cool. Don't get me wrong, but just seems a little bit extreme. Maybe it should have been based on something slightly smaller, but still yet do... I do like it, uh, and I will buy more of them. The only downside with this one, though, is the lack of the rollability because of the rubbing on the bed. They did not take into account for that. They should have built a full fender around the wheel entire. That way, it would have been something to keep this from bottoming out on the tire. But anyways, nice. Uh, but the functionality of the bed kills it, too little bit in my opinion so out of these three here i would have to say it's a toss-up between hot wheels or green light and because green light is fully 100 percent authentic licensed by ford cars licensed by chevy actual names of real vehicles i'm going to go with the green light on this one so now green light does have its downfalls though the first one that they released of the Ford, this is the 1970. As you can see, the bed is very, very short. Uh, this was based to carry a Cobra. It came with a black Cobra. They do make other sets uh, with the Cobra, the Gas Monkey one with the um, the Cobra, and then the, uh, I forget the name of them, but the Tagaray or something like this, not Tagaray, the alcohol, but it's <laughs> something like this. It's a Mexican... Uh, chili pepper place that uh, has like some road race cars and stuff. They have a set and I don't know if they use the extended bed or they use a short bed but the short bed is basically useless unless you have a Cobra or you have a um, like gasser or something and I'll show you that in a second but I was putting this here to show you how much different the wheelbase is. You could see how much more room you have between the back of the cab to the front of the tire and such. And it's probably about a half an inch longer with the bed. So, anyways, what I was going to show you. Now, since I want to keep it all green light with the green light stuff, here is a Fiat. Perfect. Ideal, perfect setup. Um, for their Fiat. And yes, that is a greeny, a green machine. Um, but... Since I, this is what I wanted to show you at first, keeping it all green light. But I always have this set up, and I even messaged Mike Zardock and told him, this is what you should have had back in the day. This should have been your setup. It looks perfect together for Mike's altered and then this Ford ramp back. Would be better if it was a Chevy, but hey, uh, anyways, it's still a cool little setup. So I know Chris, um, he did... Uh, Chris Walker did a, some kind of rendition on a team transporter with the retro rig and mics altered on it, and it looked really cool. So this is my version of it, I guess you could say. Uh, this is the way it's displayed in my display case, actually. Uh, so anyways, that's the one that I do have to say is basically useless unless you have a Cobra or an altered or some little short wheelbase car you want to put on it. Then it's okay. Um, but besides that, it's not very useful for much of anything. That's the one that's a downside, the green light. Now, the retro rig from Hot Wheels. Now, this is based to look like maybe an F300 or a Dodge D300 or whatever it may be. Now, I got two of them because these guys have to go together. 
the snake and mongoose. So as you can see, the front end, the front cabs and things are very similar to like a Ford, but the wheel openings are more Dodge looking. Same thing with the grill. As you can see, like that angled out grill. I'll show you guys. Well, maybe it's not angled out. Maybe I'm thinking too much of the Team Transport. Not Team Transport, but the RLC box sets. But yeah, I guess you could say this is a very neutral looking front end. But uh, like for Ford or Chevy. But not really Dodge, I would say, for that matter. But the wheel openings and the side body lines look very Mopar-ish. For like Mopar trucks. Um, so yeah, that's just why they call it the Retro Rig. Still, yeah, very cool. Uh, nicely done. Only thing it is lacking, it should have had like a set of ramps that came with it and clipped on here. So your car could exit. But it is what it is. They didn't give us those. No problem. They didn't even give us like ramps on the RLC sets. So it's not that big of a deal. As I said, for functionality, nothing beats their aero lift. The aero lift is awesome. Um, then sometimes like the Secura Sprinters and then your Fleet Flyers are cool because the back door acts as your ramp for the car to pull up inside. Those are cool. They're functional. Um, but for a flatbed, the aero lift wins it from Hot Wheels for functionality and things like that. Retro rigs, though, are very cool looking. As I said, they look very era correct and they could pass for an old Dodge or maybe even a Ford or probably not a Chevy, but maybe Ford, but predominantly it looks like a Dodge. Um, anyways, they look very good, nicely done, and I do like them. Uh, then you have another one from... M2. Since we're on Mopar, we'll do this guy here. And we're going to run out of room real quick because I did bring out three of each. And then some have two of the same model, like the Retro Rigs, because they had to correspond together. Now, here's this guy. You have your ramp back, and then you have the Dodge front end. This is pretty cool. Um, And actually, this one rolls like here beautifully i mean i can't say i have many m2 vehicles especially rigs that roll like that beautiful 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 have that piece of tape there because if not this thing will roll right off it doesn't stay on there too good now they should have had like some kind of stop that holds the car some kind of uh basically uh i don't know notch in the front here so the front wheel set in it or the back wheel set in it or something um, but they didn't, but no big deal. Uh, now for the back part, it should have had ramps, but they actually have a little notch here. If you have some ramps from like a, I don't know, green light trailer, you probably could use them and put them there because they do have the notches for ramps. They just didn't give them to us. Now this is all metal too. It's another very, very heavy transporter, plastic chassis, plastic frame, but there isn't much of a chassis on the bottom of the bed here. Just plastic floorboards and then your plastic frame. But as I said, even though you can see the one side, it's bent a little bit, but this thing still rolls beautifully because they did accommodate for the wheel here. So, um, yeah, this one is beautiful. Um, so this is one of the best haulers that I have from M2 because it actually rolls. And as I said, you can make it look functional with the ramps. The slide backs, there's nothing you can do with them to make them look functional because, well, it's stationary in that one way. And the only way to load up a car on that is, well, when it rolls back. So out of my opinion, the Dodge here... But the Daytona is the best from M2 out of the ones we're looking at. And we'll go ahead and look at the third one here. And this is your Mac. Uh, I forget what they call this. Something in the Mac, in whatever. But this is actually another Miho set that came with the Datsun 510. We released at the same time as the C60. So pretty cool setup. Um, the Datsun looks a little bit ridiculously small on that. But that's how it probably would have looked in person. Um, and this is your Yokohama anniversary and so forth. This is, yeah, Model N. 
So, 1957 Mac Model N. Once again, very heavy. Once again, the wheels rub the bed, as you can see. Now, since these wheels are painted gold, they're highlighted a little bit better than the black wheels on the Chevy. So, you can see they don't even roll at all when it's on the ground. Now, if you have it here, no problem. But, once the weight's on it, yeah, now you have a problem. So they didn't accommodate for this. They needed to accommodate for this. Maybe put a full flare over top of the wheel or something. Or even whenever they, if they're listening, whenever they build these again, add a little bit more space on your uh, screw hole here. So your boss for the screw, make it maybe an eighth of an inch longer or taller, that way this bed sets up just a hair bigger, even a sixteenth of an inch would be enough to clear it. So take that into consideration in the future, guys. So Sean Taylor's listening, think about that. Um, besides that, they're beautifully done. Like as you can see, the detail on this Mac is gorgeous. The front end, the horns on the hood, roof. The cab itself is beautiful. Actually, out of all the cabs, like the Dodge to this, I prefer the Mac, actually. And then this one here, the C60 is cool, but just the Mac, I do dig the way that cab looks. Looks really cool. Um, so, nice truck. Nice looking. Now, to set on the shelf, they look beautiful. All of them look beautiful setting on the shelf. But if you do want to pose them, like, for different things like loading unloading it's not going to be so good it's only going to be able to do this set there load it now i do have another version of the c60 that i wanted to show you guys because this is another miho exclusive that came out and same issue as you can see back wheels don't roll so it's not that i just got a screwed up one it's just the way that they're designed and this one here as you can see if it's not sitting there Rolls great, but no clearance once the weight's on. Now, this is their We End uh, Gasser 57 Chevy, the first release of that 57 Chevy Gasser. I actually have this in total Super Chase set Super Chase C60, Super Chase We End 57 Chevy, the set next to this guy, the regular version. Um, and it looks pretty cool together. But yeah, this is my put together set here. But that's a problem with these rollbacks, is they don't have any tire clearance, so when they're setting down, they don't roll. And then the non-functional bed is a disappointment, too. So the last one for Hot Wheels and the last one for Green Light. Hot Wheels is this Horizon Hauler. Now, this almost looked like a Ford, but this inverted, indented, whatever you want to call it, front end, I know I pointed it out when we were unboxing it, killed this thing. Now, the Hemi Dart would have looked much better on a Retro Rig, because a Retro Rig resembles a Dodge, so Dodge Hemi Dart probably would have looked better. But they wanted to launch this new casting of the Horizon Hauler. So... This has nothing special. They do have like maybe little notches. You could make some ramps and put on it. But this kind of truck would have probably had pull-out ramps like here. So that would have been cool if they would have done that. Pull-out ramps. But they didn't. But no big deal. It's still marketed as a kid's toy. So you don't want all these choking hazards there for the kids. As you can tell, it does look very Fordish in the front, if I can say that. Um, with the grill and everything, like maybe around a 70, maybe 71, 72, but it's inverted way too much. So that's what kills this. If they would have made it just vertical, up and down, it would have been a nice looking truck. I would have probably dug this one. Still do like it, but it just looks really, really strange. And this is Mariposa, um... Speed Shop, which is kind of cool because remember during our Drag Strip Demons, the Mariposa Mauler. So I wonder if that has any relation. This is out of California, it says here. Also go to um, California, it looks like. Maybe. Anyways, um, 
yeah, I'm not sure if that has any relation to him and that's Thunderbolt or not. But anyways, nice truck. It's better than having the same casting over and over and over again. So they're switching it up, made something new for us. So that's cool. Um, but as I said, it would have probably looked better with just straight up and down vertical front end. Now, this combination that I'm going to show you next from Green Light is probably by far my favorite of the group because it's based on a Chevy C30 and I have a matching 71 Super B on the back of it. This is just a gorgeous setup. This is their first Chevy C30 ramp back that they released. It originally came with a silver 68 Chevy and this is the second ramp back that they made right after that red Ford and I was thinking oh my god I hope that bed is not that short like on the Ford because there's no way it's going to fit that big ass 68 Chevy Impala but it didn't luckily it had an extended wheelbase as you can see so yeah about half an inch bigger so it accommodated the 68 Chevy pretty good and it accommodates this color matched 71 Super B beautifully and once again as I said, with these guys, since they have the fold-down ramps, it's really great. There you go. As you can see, functionality is beautiful. So, halfway on, halfway off, beautiful combination. So, in my opinion, for accuracy of real, actual vehicles in everyday use, like Chevys, Fords, Nissan, whatever it may be, uh and accuracy with detail and scaling i'm gonna give it the green light on this one guys they really knocked it out of the park with these ramp backs love them i have a black one with a 70 camaro that i got for christmas i showed you guys for my christmas haul we're going to be unboxing that in a couple weeks i have some other stuff coming up prior to that so we'll have to wait on that one but it's really cool too it's an all black uh c30 but anyways um, hope you enjoyed this one and uh, give me your feedback in the comments what you guys think and later on we'll be getting some other haulers uh, like I said the more inclined ramp back gasser like style hauler from M2 we'll be getting the carry on from Hot Wheels and doing some comparisons to them probably in a month or two and then uh, on Monday though in the very near future we're going to be doing a Mattel Monday it's going to be a combination of Matchbox Premium Vehicles and Hot Wheels Premium Vehicles. It's all going to be trucks and vans, and we have a lot of really cool ones uh, to look at. Mostly 164th, but we do have a surprise 150 scale in there for you guys, too. Make sure you tune back in on Monday for that. If you have not subscribed yet, please remember to do so. Please give me a thumbs up. Please tell your friends about my channel, and please... Uh, share the video if you don't mind. So I appreciate everything. Appreciate you guys watching. So enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you on Monday.